Yeah, I mean, obviously, a lot of nerves ahead of these talks. In fact, we've just seen the uh, Republic of Korea delegation leave uh, in their cars, uh, led by Minister of Unification Cho Myung-gon. Uh, let's have a look at what's at stake. After no talks for two years, anticipation is high at the border village of Panmunjom. Both sides will have five member teams of negotiators. The DPRK delegation will be headed by Ri Son Guan, chairman of the Committee for the Peaceful Reunification of the Fatherland. The Republic of Korea's team, headed by Minister of Unification Cho Myung Gyon. We will make efforts to make the Pyeongchang Games and the Paralympics a peace festival and help it serve as the first step toward an improvement in inter-Korean ties. To meet people's expectations, we will not be in a hurry and hold the talks in a calm manner. The talks will focus on whether DPRK can send athletes to the upcoming Winter Olympics hosted by Seoul. The DPRK wants to send its world-class figure skaters. But other issues may be raised at the talks including the reunion of families divided by the Korean War in the early 1950s and potentially humanitarian aid for the North. It's widely hoped that the talks in response to an overture by the DPRK leader Kim Jong-un in his New Year's speech will de-escalate tensions and potentially pave the way for talks over the DPRK's nuclear and ballistic missile testing. China is welcoming the talks and calling for widespread support from other nations. As a close neighbor of the Korean Peninsula, China welcomes and supports the recent positive interactions between the DPRK and ROK for easing the bilateral relations. We also hope that all parties concerned in the international community will give their support as well to the positive development and work together to find good solutions to mitigating tensions and enhancing mutual trust and resuming dialogue and consultation. In an abrupt change of policy, the U.S. is being supportive of these talks, Washington even suspending military exercises with the South for the duration of the Olympics. And on Sunday, U.S. President Donald Trump seemingly contradicted some of his cabinet ministers when he said he hoped that the talks go beyond the Olympics. I hope they do. I would love to see them take it beyond the Olympics. Uh, we have a very good relationship with South Korea. I would love to see it go far beyond the Olympics. Absolutely. And at the appropriate time, we'll get involved. U.S. President Trump has also said in recent days that he would be willing to talk to the DPRK leader by phone, seemingly without conditions. We are a long way from Trump's rocket man rhetoric and the how big is my nuclear button tweets from just a week ago. While anticipation is high for the talks happening in the next couple of hours, hopes are for a breakthrough between the two careers are, of course, far lower. Pyongyang vowing to keep its testing and perfecting its nuclear ballistic missile program, of course, and the U.S. has made clear to Pyongyang and U.S. allies in the region that it will continue military exercises, economic pressure, and is still considering military action if Pyongyang continues on its current path. So, obviously, while we're hoping that these talks have a breakthrough, there's a long uh, a mountain to climb, if not on thin ice, if I yeah. can use an Olympic analogy. Absolutely, a good one. Uh,